the winner of Big Brother Niger Season 9, No Lose Guard, is... The next housemates to be evicted from the Big Brother Niger No Lose Guard House is Suju, Suj, Anita, Ozzy, Nelly, Victoria, Onyeka. Our congratulations are in order, and as I expected. Kelly Ray is the winner of the Big Brother Niger season 9 No Lose Guard and Juani is the first runner up and Onyeka second runner up yes top 3 I have to just give a round of applause to all her supporters because they just did so well for Onyeka yes from bottom 4 in the first week to being top 3 in the grand finale of course Onyeka did so so well yes Big Brother Ninja season 9 No Lose Guard winner has been announced by Ebuka and the show has automatically come to an end and one of my highlights this night is Cassia running on stage with that her shoes to just come and celebrate and congratulate her husband Kelly Ray and also Handy joining her twin sister Wani to also celebrate that Wani is first runner up. Yes, top two in no easy. And my greatest highlight is Ozzy denying that he did not kiss Onyeka. Like Ozzy said that he has never kissed Onyeka and he can never kiss Onyeka. And he also said what he used to do each time that he comes close to Onyeka's lips. Inside the pool. How, what, what is wrong with you? You saw me pulling somebody to whisper something that I didn't want to. <laughs> fear men, fear men. Oh, Mona, once Ebuka screamed, Fear men. This is indeed Big Brother Niger season 9 No Lose Guard grand finale. And as expected, while the entire housemates were already gathered in the lounge, the voice of Big Brother echoed and he took out his time to just appreciate every finalist one by one. To Kelly Ray, he told Kelly Ray that he would no longer sing alone, but rather he would sing and Beth would sing alongside him. And to Victoria, has something to tell Victoria Wani, Onyek, the biggest O, and also Anita Nelly. Suj and Ozzy and Ebuka appeared on stage to just summarize everything Big Brother said and afterwards to open the stage was musician Shujo Boy and after performing his two hit tracks featured by one particular lady the letter joined him on stage it is time for Ebuka to officially come up on stage and immediately Ebuka was welcome on stage Ebuka recognized the headline sponsor speaking about Guinness black shines brightest and also smell of we do we before i continue to emphasize and also analyze everything that happened on tonight's grand finale let me quickly say welcome back again to my most fabulous most interesting most intriguing and most entertaining channel of mine if it's star world and here on my channel my only singular and primary obligation is to always entertain and update you guys with non-judgmental unsentimental and unbiased analytical analysis of the ongoing big brother niger season nine no lose guard and this is the very first time ever you are coming across my channel click on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and also do endeavor to turn on, on the notification bell and feel free to just give this particular video a huge thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section and after Ebuka recognized the headlines also of course Guinness and Smen of We Do We he also took out his time to recognize every sponsor that sponsored this show speaking about checkers Nexus Bang Bed of course we have Pepsi we have Mirinda we also have Golden Penny we also have Indomie Noodles a lot of sponsors and after that where's John Ebuka have to show us the recap of all the happy moments that happened during this season all the celebrations when each team win the sponsor tax it is time for the first eviction and going into the house Ebuka now told that the big brother has already told you guys what you just want to hear now it is time for me to just do my business as a messenger they complain that they are not seeing Ebuka on the TV Ebuka said that it is my voice that matters not my face Kelly said that he wanted to see what Ebuka is wearing Ebuka now said never mind you're going to see what I'm wearing very soon on stage Ebuka now told them that the next housemate to be evicted from the ongoing people that just season nine is Suj 
as expected. Yes, Such has been a victory. We already know that if he did not jump to finals because he wasn't nominated for the final week of nomination, that he was supposed to be evicted that very week. Anyways, we run an account down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and the entire has made toast to you. We're just going to meet you soon. Such leaving the brother and Niger house. It is time for commercial break. And after the commercial break, of course, as expected, Toke appeared on our stage in a different venue in Island Lagos. And it's time for Toke to just appreciate everybody that took out their time for them to just be present in her location. Also, now brought the headlines for speaking about the representative of Guinness and Smenov to also speak on what they benefit and how they decide to just sponsor this particular show. And after that was done, Toke have to also reconnect to Ebuka. And immediately that happened, it is time for us to just welcome Sunju on stage. Suj coming on stage was so happy to just join Ebuka. And Ebuka now told Suj that I don't need anybody to just tell me that now that you're out of the show that you're just rooting for Nelly to win. And Suj accepted that yes, since he's not going to win the money, that he did love Nelly to just win this show. And Ebuka showed Suj the highlight of his stay in Biggie's house. The next question Ebuka asked Suj has to do with his relationship with Nelly. According to Suj, that he is then serious with Nelly, that is somebody that he is just getting to know. So we should expect them to just continue. And Suj was not shown where his family are seated in the show. He wanted to just greet them. Ebuka was like, you have all the time to do so. You cannot just leave the stage. And after Suj left the stage, Ebuka said that the envelope is out again. So he now went back to the house and immediately evicted Anita. Anita was happy to just leave the show. Anita exchanged hugs with her fellow finalists and off she goes. And immediately there was a commercial break. And after the commercial break, it is time for them to show us a recap of all the love stories in this particular season. Speaking about all the kisses and all the mouth feeding. I never knew that Chisaba actually fed OC at a point. Yes, I knew that Kelly fed Cassie, especially when she was sick and then they showed us that case that happened between oz and onyeka during the last whole party and it was the way onyeka opened her mouth so wide to just collect that particular case anyway after that happened there was a commercial break and after the commercial break it is time for us to just welcome anita on stage anita coming on stage ebukana asked her if she's disappointed that she did not win she said no she's not disappointed that she's even happy that she has already said it, that her making it to the final is the best thing for her and Ebuka asked her what next and she said that she cannot just wait for her to just get life going. She said that she has been a mother but she wouldn't mind doing international runway. Ebuka asked Anita on a scale of 1 to 10 how anxious are you to see Tofa? Anita said 20 and that was how Anita was asked to just leave the stage and not without the audience celebrating Anita. There was a commercial break and after commercial break we have to join Toke again in the venue that she is in Island Lagos. Toke have to interview Jay Paul. If you have been watching this particular show, we will all remember the ex-housemate Jay Paul during season six, Shine Your Eyes. And according to Jay Paul, that it is one ex handy that actually gave him the content that he wanted this season. And the next person that Toke interviewed was Victoria's supporter who celebrated Victoria. And it is time for Toke to tell us to join Ebuka. Returning back to the live studio of the grand finale of Big Brother Niger season 9 No Lose Guide, Ebuka is already standing with Sean and Choi Yase, speaking about the housemate of just concluded Big Brother Niger season 9 No Lose Guide. And according to Ebuka, he started first by teasing Sean, asking Sean if Victoria Wani and Tokyo walk into a restaurant and then he was like, just tell us all we need to know concerning this show. And according to Sean, it has not been easy that while he was in the house, that he did his best and outside the house is hate and love. Ebukana advised him to just focus on love. And for Toyose, Toyose said that she met new friends in as much as her stay was quick, but she is glad for the experience. It is time for Ebuka to evict the next housemate and joining them in the house. Ebuka quickly evicted OZ and as usual every other housemate just told him we're going to just see you soon outside and why people that was just counting down OZ left Biggie's house. It is time for the recap of all the sponsor tax. Speaking about every sponsor tax that happened in the whole of this season, nine no lose guide. Every sponsor tax in the arena, even the ones that took place in the kitchen, even in the garden. After 
after the recap of all the sponsor tags that took place this season, it is time for us to welcome Ozzy on stage. Ozzy, joining Ebuka on stage. Ebuka quickly just asks Ozzy, please, we don't understand exactly what you're just doing. This minute you are with Victoria, the next second it is Onyek, and you kept on denying kissing in this season. The other day you denied, and just this last Thursday, we just saw you pulling somebody up while the person was in the pool, and you gave the person a kiss. Instantly, Ozzy denied kissing Onyeka on stage. Ozzy said that you saw me pulling somebody up from the pool to just whisper something that I don't want anybody to hear. Ebuka could not just believe what he just heard Ozzy saying. And Ebuka now said, fear men. He now said, oh yeah, watch the highlights of yourself while you are in Biggie's house. And after the highlight was shown to Ozzy, Ebuka now asked Ozzy, what next? And according to Ozzy, that he has a lot of things he was saying before he came on this show. And he's going to just continue with that. And he's also open to more collaboration. And there was a commercial break. And after the commercial break, Ebuka has changed into his second costume. And it is time for Ebuka to just go into the house for the next edition. And Nelly was evicted. And Nelly was so excited. And after she just exchanged hugs with her fellow finally, she left Biggie's house and it is time for the second performer to perform on stage and that same person performed alongside Joe Boy when Joe Boy opened the show and after that performance it is time for Ebuka to welcome Nelly on stage Nelly joining Ebuka on stage instantly Ebuka asked Nelly if she feels so sad for not winning the show because coming on the show she actually wanted to win before Nelly could answer of course her friends were already around and they just offered her a bouquet of flowers she was so happy why the flower. I'm gonna ask Nelly to just explain what it is that is going on between her and Sud and if the relationship is just going to continue on the outside. And Nelly refused to just answer the question because she did not know what Sud said about her. And she was diplomatically saying that she is not feeling fine. And she was also asking Nebuka what happened. Nebuka was like, oh, I just watch your highlights while you were in Biggie's house. And after that highlight was shown to her, Ebuka now was like, just to be serious this time around, what do we expect between you and Sujan? According to her, she said, we shall see. Ebuka was like, are we going to continue with that? She said, by the grace of God. And they asked her what next. She said that she's also open for brands to just collaborate with her. And she's also ready to just open her restaurant and every other good thing that is definitely just going to come her way. And that was how Nelly left the stage. After Nelly left the stage, the recap of the few fights that happened during the season was also shown to us. Of course, there was no much fight. It was more of people bragging that they're going to fight or the things that they said behind their fellow housemates. It was just the few bragging of a chimney during her fracas with Zion and also the fight between Rudy and Wani X Handy. The fight that happened after the return of the agent GROC and also the fight between Nelly and Chimwe that happened when Chimwe returned as an agent. After that happened, Ebuka also read the social media comments and this he has been doing while the show was also ongoing and after that also happened it is time for commercial break and immediately after the commercial break it is time for the next edition I'm going to the house Ebuka now told them that he overheard them saying that he is not even having any conversation with them do they want conversation or do they want to leave when he was screaming just do fast fast because we just want to meet our family and the next housemate to be evicted from the ongoing people then he just says a night is Victoria. I have to say this, I was not expecting that, but then again, I have to realize that instead of you to be pumping too much money, knowing that your fame is not going to just win, why not just put in small money? Being the finalist is enough. Save the money for future endeavors. Anyway, Victoria has been evicted, and I saw the excitement in Onyeka's face. Being top three, she's also getting close to being a winner, and she is hopeful that she might just win this particular show. Victoria and also standing on the existing protocol, exchange hugs with her fellow finalists, leaving the house. Onyeka was just reminding her for her to just hold her clothes so that the door will not just grab it. And that was how Victoria left Biggie's house. And it was a recap of the crying scenes that happened. Of course, Ruthie cried, Cassia cried, Onyeka cried, most people cried. Every cry that they cried during this season was also shown to us. After the crying recap, it is time for Ebuka to once again read social media comments. And I enjoyed the comments. Each fan are just commenting based on how they are supporting their different finalist fave. It is time for us to just welcome Victoria on stage. Before that happened, of course, Joe Boy has to perform 
perform once again on stage while that was happening i have already started recording this video because i need to just meet up because i know that most people are just counting on me and it is time for victoria to join ebuka on stage joining ebuka on stage ebuka went straight to just ask victoria what it is that is happening between her and Ozi and according to Ebuka that this triangle is sometimes triangling and sometimes it will not be triangling. Victoria replying Ebuka said that it is strictly friendship to her and she also admitted that Ozi is somebody that she has a very soft spot for. Of course she has been saying that several times while on the show and the highlight of Victoria was also shown to her and after that Ebukana asked her, what is it that is next for you? According to Victoria, she just wanted to work that she missed working for the past three months. That she's somebody that loves to just work and make more money. And she said that she's also open to anything that is about to happen. Just like every other person has been saying that they're open for more collaborations and brand signing them. And Ebuka also asked her about her friendship with Sean. According to her, that we shall see going forward. But definitely, Sean will always be her friend it is time for victoria to just leave the stage as expected there is another commercial break and after that commercial break ebukana said there is no time since we are now having top three speaking about kelly ray Wani, and onyeka it is time for him to just do the next eviction and going into the house after celebrating the top three it is time to just evict and the next housemate to just leave biggie's house is onyeka onyeka was so happy to leave the house and that was how onyeka left after onyeka got evicted ebuka once again have to just read social media comments and after that ebuka was now rushing and he said it is time for us to welcome Onyeka on stage. Onyeka joining Ebuka on stage. Ebuka quickly asked Onyeka, so do you kiss your besties? Because a lot of kisses has just been going on in that house. And Onyeka did not deny kissing Ozzy, just like Ozzy denied kissing Onyeka. Onyeka said, ah, na so ibio. that is just life for everybody. And Ebukana also asked Onyeka, what is it that is happening between you and Ozzy? Instead of her to just said, we are just mere besties, just like you have been saying on the show. Maybe because she did not know what Victoria might have just said and also what Ozzy might have just said. So she was like, I don't know, I don't just know. Anyway, her highlight was shown to her as usual, just like every other housemate's highlight has been shown to them. Then it is time for Ebuka to also ask Onyeka another question. What is next for you? According to her, she is biggest O. According to her, that she's expecting acting, directing, singing, anything. And she also had a lot to just say on stage. And I have to say that she was the very first person. Okay, sorry. Nelly was the first person that was given a flower bouquet. And also, a flower was also given to Onyek. And she was so happy when she just received that. And even while she was talking with Ebuka at the point, she also asked Ebuka if she can just hold the microphone. Ebuka was like, no, just rush your words. She said a lot of things. So, all anyway, she is second runner up. And after Onyeka was interviewed, she was asked to just leave the stage. And after that, there was another commercial break. And after the commercial break, it is time for us to also join Toke Makewa in her location. That particular venue, Toke has also changed to her second costume. And according to her, we already know that it is top two. Is it going to be? Kelly Ray, the married guy, who is going to just break the record that a married man can never just come so far to this show and also win in the show. It's going to just be Tosa, 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 Tosa. And it is time for Toke to now interact with a representative of multi choice. And according to the person, he said, in as much as we kept on saying that the show is boring, but we should know that in our everyday life that we are not supposed to anticipate confrontation all the time. And according to him, that we said it yes, we clarified the summary of everything that happened to the show. And when he was ask what's next he said that we should also watch all the leagues if you are a fan of football just like i am yes i am a football fanatic that we should just get ready to watch the Turkish league the goal syria a premier league la liga even champions league that every match is showing. and he also said that there are lots of entertainment films and series speaking about my fairy tale wedding and every other thing and after that it is time for us to now join a book back in live studio and Ebuka said that Big Brother wants to address the top two. And moving into the house, of course, Big Brother addressed the top two. Speaking about Kelly Ray and Wani. And after Big Brother spoke to them, it is time for them to just leave Biggie's house. They did not even off the light. And that was how they left. And Ebuka back on stage said that for the last time, there is going to be a commercial break before the winner is going to be announced. And after the commercial break, as expected, of course, Kelly Ray and Wani was now welcomed on stage as top two.
joining Ebuka. Ebuka, when she tried to just ask Kawani question concerning what is being expected of her, she said, of course, we already know that she's a DJ, so they expect touring entire Africa and also owning a music studio where they will produce my music, acting, and just as usual, they are always open for more collaboration with every other brand. Ebuka now asking Kelly real question. Kelly now said that he remembered that on the day that he was on stage before he made his way to Biggie's house, that Ebuka told him that no married man has made it far in this show. And Cassia said that their case is different. Kelly now said that for him to just be this far to stand on stage as top two, that is already enough for him. And their highlights were shown today. Speaking about one is highlights and also uh, Kelly Ray's highlights. And after that, and Kelly now apologized for so so lying that he called his wife his bestie. And Kelly now said that what is next for him has to do with singing. And he also sang, I love you all. And after that, Ebuka now said it is time for him to just announce the winner. Before that, I remember that Ebuka also asked Wani, what is it with you? And Sean going forward, and Wani was like, Where are Sean? Pointing at Sean, he was like, Oh, my smooth Sean, I do you want to eat Simu? I can't wait to just make Simu for you. And that is her establishing the fact that the relationship continues. And also, Sean said the same thing while on stage the day he got evicted. So let's see how they are just going to be going forward. And that was how Ebuka now decided to just announce the winner. But before that happened, of course, the head manager of his DSTV Multi Choice. Of course, we already know the lady. She was on stage, and also another lady joined her with the check and the car care. According to Ebuka, that the winner takes it all, and it's going to be 60 million naira cash and a car that worth 40 million. And in usual norm, Ebuka said that the winner of people return and just season nine is is we already of course we already know if you have been following this show we know who will win like as if it is scripted we know forget about kelly ray's dressing on stage forget about his sports suit forget about all the poor costume that he brought on this show we know didn't you see the way uh, cassia dressed anyway kelly ray has been announced as the winner a round of applause for him he has won next season a man will win and next to season is going to be a lady and that is how he says he is celebrating and i love the fact that cassia rushed on stage to come and celebrate her husband and yes they kissed as expected Cassia was so happy that she was even running on stage without her shoes and the check was presented to Kelly also the car came and Cassia at a point joined to also snapped with her husband of course she's also a winner yes her husband won she's the wife of a winner and that also makes her a winner and handy the twin of one did not also waste time to join Cassia because she just have to come and celebrate with her twin sister one it's not easy to be first on her up or ah, top two and they were just so happy of course they exchanged their usual lip to lip kiss and while on stage with her twin sister, of course, Cassia returned to also celebrate her husband and also went to hug Wani and Handy and also congratulating Wani for being first runner up. And that was it. And the show just came to an end. And I know that after part is going to follow suit. And I am just going to be on Instagram live to see if any of them just going to go live and to see what is going to happen. And in conclusion, I am just going to give you guys an update that has to do with the media rounds of Onyeka, Ozi and Victoria for Ozi to deny that kiss and for Onyeka to accept that she do kiss her best. Let's see how everything is just going to unfold. Whether Ozi is going to have a conversation with Onyeka to deny it subsequently in their media rounds, whatsoever it is, I'm certainly going to just update you guys starting with the interview of Ebuka with the finalists. And until that happens, it is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much. Even when I was missing in action for two weeks, you guys gave me reason to come back. And when I came back, you people kept on encouraging me to keep on shooting videos back to back. Thank you so much for everybody that commented wrongly, for everybody that encouraged me in the comment section, for everybody that always asks me what is just to delay in the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for just counting on me to be updated with this just concluded Big Brother Niger season nine. We tears in my eyes i said thank you so much for just using your data to just watch my videos especially watching the ads in between maybe next season i shall also update you guys or maybe not but whatever it is of course keep counting on me and may god bless you all and also replenish all the data you guys invested in watching my videos if you start signing out thank you thank you 